Okay, so get this. More than $600,000 for the missions fine last year for an unclear reason. What in the heck is the FAA doing? Not accepting this, SpaceX and Elon struck back forcefully by countersuing the FAA. At the same time, they boldly exposed the dark corners of the government's regulatory system. This action has ignited quite the fierce confrontation just ahead of the presidential election. But what exactly went down, and why does the FAA seem to be solely targeting SpaceX, but turning a blind eye at other companies like Boeing Starliner? Is this a cleverly orchestrated political game, or just simply a battle of innovation and outdated regulations? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech, and thanks for checking it out. After announcing the delay of SpaceX's Starship Flight 5 to no earlier than November, on September 17th, the FAA suddenly announced that it was proposing a $633,000 fine for SpaceX. The regulator said that in May of 2023, SpaceX submitted a request to amend the plan related to launch license from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, a military base in Florida. The request included the addition of a new launch control room and the removal of a readiness pole from the company's procedures. The following month, SpaceX used unapproved launch control room for a mission and failed to conduct the pole. The FAA said it was proposing a $175,000 fine for each violation. According to the agency, SpaceX launched PSN Citria with those modifications before the FAA approved the request. Another $283,000 penalty is being proposed related to SpaceX's unapproved use of a rocket propellant farm. This was for the launch of Jupiter-3, a giant telecom satellite that was sent into orbit on a Falcon Heavy on July 28th of last year from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, located in next to Cape Canaveral. For that mission, SpaceX used a newly constructed rocket fuel farm at KSC that the FAA had not yet approved. According to the agency, the company submitted an amendment request related to the fuel farm earlier that month. These two violations brought the total fine between the two missions to $633,009. Safety drives everything we do at the FAA, including a legal responsibility for the safety oversight of companies with commercial space transportation licenses, FAA Chief Counsel Mark Nichols said in a statement. Failure of a company to comply with the safety requirements will result in consequences. SpaceX has 30 days to respond after receiving the FAA's two enforcement letters, which have been sent out. SpaceX hasn't immediately responded to this, but Elon did express his anger just hours after the announcement, tweeting, SpaceX will be filing suit against the FAA for regulatory overreach. He also claimed that the FAA was wrong and controlled by the government. I'm highly confident that discovery will show improper politically motivated behavior by the FAA. And if things continue like this, the fundamental problem is that humanity will be forever confined to Earth unless there's radical reform at the FAA. The FAA has yet to respond to Elon's legal threats, but frankly speaking, the agency's accusations are quite laughable. On May 2nd of last year, SpaceX informed the FAA of a revised communications plan, a seemingly routine update for a company known for rapid iteration. Yet it wasn't until June 15th, a mere three days ahead of the scheduled launch, that the FAA replied, stating that the change could not be approved in time. This six-week delay for what appears to be a standard request raises some eyebrows. In an industry where launches are meticulously planned and every day counts, such a prolonged response time from a regulatory body can be more than just an inconvenience, it can be a mission-critical issue. SpaceX, faced with an 11th-hour decision, chose to proceed with the launch. This choice, while in technically a violation of their license, becomes more understandable in light of how delayed the FAA's response was. We can clearly see that the agency is not keeping up with the pace of its work to match the importance of the mission. If things continue down this path, such delays are going to serve as a microcosm of the larger challenges that commercial space is facing. As private companies like SpaceX are pushing the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration, these outdated legal frameworks designed for a much older era are struggling to keep pace. The result is tension, as we see in that current dispute between the FAA and SpaceX. Of course, this is not the only fine the FAA has given SpaceX. In Feb of last year, FAA proposed a $175,000 civil penalty against SpaceX for failing to submit safety data to the agency ahead of a Starlink satellite launch in August. The FAA stated that SpaceX paid the $175,000 fine in October. In September of 2023, FAA concluded its investigation into the April 
April test launch of SpaceX's giant Starship, requiring the company to implement dozens of corrections. However, perhaps the most surprising thing is that the FAA did not penalize Starliner, even though the spacecraft has been riddled with errors and has even gotten astronauts trapped on the ISS. Elon also bluntly spoke on this. Amazingly, no Starliner finds for Boeing. The FAA space division is harassing SpaceX about nonsense that doesn't affect safety while giving Boeing a free pass even after NASA concluded that their spacecraft was not safe enough to bring back the astronauts. There need to be resignations from the FAA leadership. To be quite frank with you, I feel that Elon's argument is perfectly reasonable. How about you? Comment yes if you feel the same way. And with this attitude, it's certain that Elon's legal threat won't just be empty words. The company has sued the government multiple times before. In January, SpaceX filed a lawsuit against the National Labor Relations Board after the board accused the company of unlawfully firing employees who sent a letter to company execs calling Musk a distraction and embarrassment. In the lawsuit, SpaceX claimed that the structure of the NLRB violated the Constitution and sought to block the lawsuit against SpaceX. The company used a similar tactic last year, suing the government to try and block a DOJ lawsuit that claimed SpaceX refused to hire refugees. And going back all the way to 2014, the company sued the government after the Air Force gave a lucrative contract to a competitor instead of going with the highest bidder. Musk's spat with the FAA comes in a week where he also landed in hot water over his posts on X. Earlier this week, after another assassination attempt on former President Trump, Musk posted that no one's trying to assassinate Joe Biden or Kamala Harris, along with a thinking face emoji. Musk later deleted the tweet, saying he was only joking. The White House condemned the post, calling it irresponsible. Musk's vow to litigate, along with previous legal actions, also highlights the more complex relationship with the government of this billionaire CEO. Trump said that if he wins a second term, he's going to put Elon in charge of a government efficiency commission. All this makes us think about the motives behind the FAA's penalties on SpaceX, as would any reasonable person. There has been growing speculation about political motivation behind the FAA's actions, particularly in light of Elon's outspoken political views. His public support for Trump and his frequent political commentary has raised concerns that government agencies, including the FAA, might be reacting with heightened security. Some observers suggest that this could be influencing the timing and severity of the fines and regulatory delays imposed on SpaceX. This has sparked debates over whether Elon's political behavior might jeopardize SpaceX's critical relationships with federal entities like NASA and the DoD both of which are key partners in the company's space exploration initiatives. Some supporters of SpaceX and Elon argue that the FAA and other agencies that are tightening their oversight is a form of retaliation for Elon's political stances. They think that regulators may be using their power to punish or apply pressure to SpaceX. But it's got to be noted that this is just speculation, as the FAA still has the authority to take actions like this. Regulatory bodies like the FAA have a mandate to uphold safety standards in aerospace. Their scrutiny of SpaceX may simply reflect legitimate concerns and potential violations rather than a political agenda. As SpaceX continues pushing the boundaries of space, increased regulatory attention is a natural consequence of this groundbreaking work. Moreover, the U.S. government has systems in place designed to prevent direct political interference in regulatory decisions. Many of these investigations and actions likely stem from the long-term processes that predate current political tensions. However, the perception of political motivation and regulatory actions can have far-reaching consequences. If the public loses faith in the impartiality of government agencies or the integrity of the space industry, it could significantly hamper progress in both sectors. This situation underscores the delicate balance private companies have to hit with their government partners and raises complex questions about the appropriate level of political engagement for leaders of said companies that are heavily reliant on those government contracts. Should regulatory actions be viewed as politically driven or punitive, it would stifle innovation in the space sector. This controversy may spark calls for clearer guidelines governing interactions between regulatory bodies and outspoken business leaders. Ultimately, any major disruption to SpaceX could have broader implications for America's competitive position in the global space race. As this situation unfolds, it's important to consider these various perspectives and potential outcomes, recognizing the complex interplay between regulation, innovation, and the politics in the realm of space exploration. And that's it for today's episode. Thanks for checking it out and hope to see you back here next time. Bye.